Computer Management, the Desktop Part 1. The icons on the desktop can be selected by clicking on them once. Double clicking on an icon will cause some action to be performed. For example, if these icons are double clicked, a folder will be opened. These icons have a special arrow at the bottom left corner. This indicates that they are shortcuts. Double clicking on a shortcut will either open a folder or start a program. The taskbar at the bottom of the desktop holds a number of different tools. The start button allows you to open any programs which are not available on the desktop. You can either select them from the panel at the side or click on all programs to see all the programs installed on the computer. Click on the desktop to deselect the start button menu. These icons show which programs are currently running, for example Microsoft Excel and Open Office. On the right hand side of the taskbar is the notification area. In this area you can see information about whether you are connected to a network and the date and time. There are also some hidden icons. Clicking on one of these icons will cause some action to be performed as well. For example, opening the antivirus program. The notification area also indicates, for example, how much battery power is left in a laptop computer and allows you to set the volume of the speakers. Widgets and gadgets mean the same thing. To show some of the widgets or gadgets, right click anywhere on the desktop and select gadgets. Double click on a gadget to place it on the desktop. For example, a clock. Double click on the clock and it will appear in the top right hand corner of the desktop. It can be closed by clicking on this button and you can also set some of the options. You can drag the gadget to a different place on the desktop. Close the gadget gallery.